What's going on guys? Welcome back uh, with part two of this Gruel Monsters list. This one has been very, very fun uh, and we did okay. We got two and one as our record so far. Uh, the, the second game in the last video was a little bit difficult, but we got there. Uh, and then unfortunately the last game someone got mana screwed and so it, it kind of feels bad. But uh, we're here, we're going to try three more times, see what we can get. Uh, hopefully you guys are really enjoying this one. I think this is a very fun deck. Uh, this is great. This is a nice two uh, with Marauding Raptor into three. That's nice. Um, hi. Uh, with either Questing Beast or Rada, uh, which is great since this does cheapen everything that we're doing. Um, look at that beautiful art. That's stunning. All right. Let's get this out there. Uh, interested to see what they've got going on here. I don't really know what... Um, this could just be a blue-white flyers list. Uh, in which case that's very, very good and a little bit frustrating, but we do have Stone Coil Serpent, so maybe we can get there. Chances are we're also a little bit more aggro than they are, um, which is kind of nice. Also, we didn't have our second green, so we weren't able to do what we were hoping to do, but that's fine. Um, hmm. Do we play Rada or do we play Great Horn? I think first we attack. See what they do. Okay, um, or do we just play Gem Razor? I kind of like Gem Razor. This is just a nice little blocker, um, and then we'll pass. I'd rather lose the Gem Razor than the Stone Coil Serpent, just in general, uh, which is why I kind of played this out before the Stone Coil here. Okay. Very good. Oopsies on their end. Probably shouldn't have attacked with that, but that's fine. Yep. <laughs> uh, Grazer. Interesting. Um, hmm. Let's see. What is our best play here? This is kind of silly, but I actually like doing this. We're going to go over. Uh, let's see. We need our second green, so let's get that. Um... This just allows us to get in there with this um, without them really having a good block. And so we can kind of keep the damage train going. Plus we get our land, which we definitely need. Um, and now we can, you know, start doubling up on some things or just play the questing beast and get in for a lot. Okay, so chances are they've got some kind of thing here, but we have to do this. Sure. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, let's do this. Don't have a land. Um, and then let's do this for four. Just to, again, give ourselves a little bit more to block with. Oh, they're countering. Oh, okay. I see you. Uh, so chances are we just lose, right? Potentially. Um, yeah, good game. If they just have any pump spell, they win. They didn't, but next turn, obviously, they can probably win. Uh, let's see. Why didn't they play that first? Because it wouldn't have mattered. But seems kind of silly. Um. Hmm. If only, if only. Uh, let's see. I mean, we definitely just lose, right? Like, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, I think they just have it. That's fine. We're not far off from being able to, to win that turn, though. We have the Questing Beast, which would have trampled through. That couldn't have... The, the Healer's Hawk couldn't block that, so we were halfway through killing them. Um... They could have blocked the uh, Migratory Great Horn there, but um, they would have obviously lost their creature in the exchange, but that's fine. Not terrible, not terrible. <clears throat> Cantanker. Cantanker? I like that. Um, all right. Sure, we'll keep. We do have the Ravager Worm, which this is a one of in the list, and I haven't actually played much with it, so I'm kind of excited to hopefully get it down. Uh, see what we could do. It looks like they mulliganed. 
They've got the doggos. I like it. Uh, let's get this out. <clears throat> Raptor into second Raptor is actually very good, just for the record. Oh, this literally is doggos. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's do this. Uh, this also just cheapens up all of our stuff, which is kind of nice. Chances are against this matchup. Really? I'm going to do this. I'm... Oh, it gets first strike. Oh, gosh, I'm dumb. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that was a mistake, but that's okay. We definitely screwed up. That was a big, big oops, uh, to be honest. Prevent all combat damage to be dealt to... Okay, yeah. That's fine. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That is very good. Pack leader is stupid good. Yeah, you got it. Um, that definitely set us back. We could have done a little bit more this turn otherwise, but that was just a mistake. Misplays happen, right? We learn. Uh, what you doing? You gonna you gonna do the thing? Okay. There we go. Opponent just all of a sudden started playing very slowly, and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, yes. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I do. I think you can do this. Um, let's see. Can't quite get Forerunners or Ravager Worm. We've got Gem Razor. Eh. I don't know what this is going on here, though. This is kind of slow. Um, all right. Glad we got there. All right. Let's do this. Let's get Gem Razor out. Um, which doesn't honestly save us at all. But uh, Ravager Worm might be able to if we can get it out next turn. Or if we can get to next turn, I should say. Um. Because we can just kind of block some stuff. We can't lose the Marauding Raptor, though. That's pretty crucial. Uh, which does beg the question, do we just attack with it? Um, I don't love that idea. Just on the off chance we literally have to block something, I'd rather have that out. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, let's see what they do. Well, that's good. That makes Ravager Worm a lot worse. Okay. Hmm. We block there so as not to lose anything. All right, so do this. Uh, 1-1 one, one counter, I suppose. I don't know if it's better to hit. I think it's better to try and do this. I mean, they can sacrifice, I get it. But we're going to kill the same thing either way, so there's an off chance that they were to lose that. Um, all right. So now at least we have blockers for everything. Um... Still don't feel great about our position, though. I will say that. <laughs> yep. I mean... Sure. Yeah, we just lose. Okay. Well, let's jump into our third game. That was just a very aggressive... I, I misplayed definitely on that uh, first block, but my goodness, that was just a, a beating. Um, we could have definitely got some things out a lot sooner, though, it, had we done that more correctly, I will say. Um, and so we might have been able to beat them with the selfless savior kind of play. Um, and then also just had more stuff out. So like we could have actually gotten a little bit more done, um, but that's okay. Let's jump into our last game. Hopefully we can get at least one win here. Um, and then we'll of course kind of sum up the deck. Uh, this is a nice little keep though. I like this. 
Temple of Abandon into Mountain into Raptor. Seems okay. Uh, and then, of course, we've got Rada uh, and or Gym Razor. Ravager Worm. I really like Ravager Worm. Let's keep it. It's a bit of an aggressive keep because chances are we won't get to play it anytime soon, but um, with Rada and Marauding Raptor, we might be able to get an extra land off the top uh, where we don't have one in our hand and then um, hopefully get to this eventually. But we'll see. We will see. Very crucially, nothing else other than... Uh, nothing in this deck, I should say, has uh, toughness less than two, uh, or two or less, I should say, which is very important um, for this entire deck. Uh, let's do this. The reason I'm doing this first, if there's a land off the top, which there is, we want to do that. Okay. Uh, and let's just attack here. Might as well go ahead and get some damage in. They've got lifelinks, so they're going to gain some back here, but that's fine. Uh, if they block, which they may not. Oh, well, that's just nice. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Happy we got the Rada down when we did, though. Um, a Forerunner as well. Not anywhere close to that. Um, Gem Razor is going to be great here. We actually get to, to peg this Life's Bounty pretty easily. Um, and they were very aggressive with this Karametra's Blessing. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it worked out. They got rid of the Marauding Raptor, but uh, it just means they don't now have it in their hand, which is good. So, fine with that. Uh, let's play this out. Let's go ahead and do this. Over. Get that out of there. Um... And we'll attack him. They're going to be able to come back pretty heavily, so we do have to keep um, kind of hitting them every once in a while. Uh, if we get another land off the top here um, after this Grazer, we might be able to get the Ravager. No, excuse me. We're, we're still a land away. That's my mistake. But uh, we're doing okay here. We get to potentially hit this and get a land, which is kind of nice, though. <clears throat> or hit that, which is probably better. <laughs> All that glitters is very good. Nice job. Okay, let's play land. Let's do this. Uh, under, obviously. Let's hit all that glitters. Uh, let's get another green so or red source, excuse me. Peg that down a little bit, um, and then we'll just play out this because, again, we can't play this for two, um, or we can, I guess, but it's probably not going to be good. Um, we really want to be able to to dump a lot of mana into that. It also just has pro multicolor, so against this uh, Siona, um, it's actually really good. Um I think as well, it's if they attack in with this, there's not a reason for us to block with the Gem Razor. Um, the Gem Razor is just so good. If we can get any kind of uh, any kind of mutate ability, that just does wonders for us. So um, I think that that's probably correct, but we'll we'll see. And they may not. Oh, they are gonna attack. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna block here. Save ourselves some damage. Don't really care too much about the, the Grazer just in general, so that's fine. Um, Ravager Worm. Or just Stone Coil Serpent for a lot. Uh, or this, and then a Stone Coil Serpent for two would be fine. We have got options, people. Um... Hmm. I kind of like the idea of spreading things out a bit. Given that they've got all of this, it's pretty important that we do that, I think. Uh, not going to do that quite yet, though. I'm just going to attack him with this. It has Death Touch, which is why I don't mind attacking him with it. And Trample, so the only thing they can really do is this, which is fine. That's great, actually, for us. Perfect. 
that did not work the way they thought it would. Uh, in that case, I am willing to do this. That was great. Um, <laughs> that was fantastic. Ooh, that's a very good card, though. That's a great target for a Ravager Worm. <laughs> Uh, I hope they don't draw more enchantments is the only thing that I worry about here. Please don't have drawn. Okay, yes. Whew, thank you. Ravager Worm. 1-1 uh, counter. Let's fight the Satestan Champion. Perfect. All right. And we're attacking with everything. Yes, there we go. All right, so... Uh, we at least got, we ended up on an even 3-3. Three, three. Uh, that feels pretty good. Uh, I, I kind of expected a little bit more from this deck. I know it's a little bit, uh, not janky necessarily. Oh, we get a, we get a pack. Um, but it's like, it's a little bit one-sided and then it's focused solely on creatures. Um, I think it's really good at that. Oh, very sweet. Um, but, you know, it has its issues, its faults. Uh, the curve is pretty nice usually, but you can definitely get like heavy handed uh, kind of pulls where it's just a bunch of Ravager Worms or uh, end race forerunners, those kinds of things. And then all of a sudden you don't have a ton to do. Um, so, th and it definitely runs out of gas very quickly. Um, the fact that Omori is its companion means you can't have things like Vivian, which would let you play creatures off the top. Uh, and I think that that's kind of. I think I might rather have the Vivian. Um, that may be incorrect, I don't know, but that's just kind of my thought. I'd like to play around with this list because I do really love just a good, solid Gruul deck. Uh, we've got a lot of them out, excuse me, right now. Uh, and so it's really fun to just kind of play around with the template. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to enter our Double Masters giveaway going on right now. And make sure to join our Discord as well. We've got a really nice channel and community down there. Uh, and we really appreciate everybody supporting and joining lately. We've gotten a lot of new people. So welcome to all of you. Uh, and feel free, the link is down below. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon with the next gameplay video.